game that y'all don't even know. I can't wait to play this. We have four endings that we need to get and five tapes. There's technically six, but I'm not gonna go through the process of getting the sixth one. But I'm really excited. But uh, Kat, May, and uh, and uh, I think it was Danny. I can't see the chat anymore. Hold on. Yeah. How y'all doing? Are you ready? I'm so ready. I'm probably gonna jump right in because I want to try to do the whole game tonight. Um, big excited. Big excited. But I hope y'all are doing well. All right. Okay. Dear Riley, if you're reading this, it means you won't see me again, unless it's the in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there is still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in Kensdale. This next part may be a mistake, and forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape, but know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear. With you always, Aunt Kate. You're painting shoes? What you painting? I'm so good. I'm driving down to Georgia with Beyond Friday to spend six weeks in North Carolina with my family. Oh, let's go. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> You're fine, Danny. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm painting shoes. I just thought you were really excited about it. What are you painting on the shoes? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, May, I had to add them. I had to do it. They're so good. They're so good. I'm obsessed. All right, creepy attic. Let's go. Wow, the, uh, hold on. The sensitivity on this is a little wild to me. Is it input? Yeah. That's much better. All right, let's see. The piano. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Uh, just pink. Uh, for. Uh, your Raka. Raka Halloween costume? Wait, what is that, Danny? That's awesome, though. Also, is the game audio loud enough for you guys? Uh, cause it might need to be a little louder for me. Let me try it up for myself. I think it's this one. Okay. Oh snap! All right, there's the first tape. Actually, wait. Let's look at the. So this is the letter that we just read. What's over here, though? What does it say? Uh, Dear Miss Park, I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. I swear the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful to you for that, for being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again, to trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof. Gone. Uh, oh, My Hero Academia. Okay, I've never seen that. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it, actually. Uh, two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof. Gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts, and eventually it killed them. The police figured out someone snatched Jordan off the street. Some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know? A regular old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it. And, and I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody would leave me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard about a kind, kind of research you do, a kind that's normal. People don't do, the type that normal people don't do. I don't know, maybe it's just a rumor, but here I am. School records, behavioral complaints, make appointments, review cold cases, experience. What's this one say? Oh, the sensitivity is so wild. Oh, wait, here we go. You used to watch that show, you know. It was really sweet at first. I remember that you even used to tell families when younger kids, with younger kids to watch it. It was, I don't know wholesome i guess and then it just got weird i find jordan standing in front of the tv like he was in a trance and it was like that little girl was talking to him she said some really weird stuff i know most of the people around here don't believe in the kind of work you do not at the library 
the other kind of work. They just don't want to face the truth that something really evil was there. Can we meet and talk? I don't want to write any more here. I feel like someone is watching me. So seriously, Joanne Cook. Oh, sus. Big sus. Wait, what is, what is this one? Can I read it? Dear Kate, thank you so much for the roller skates. I can't, I can't read it. Okay, that doesn't matter. This is important later, I do know that. Suspicious. This doll is creepy as heck. Alright. Let's put this tape in. First tape, here we go. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today, so we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. I see. What's your favorite kind of pie? Uh, pecan. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Yummy pie. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, oh, we need to cut pie the apple. Really too. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? I'm gonna purposely... I So, I've seen playthroughs of this game, and I know what the answers are. Uh, but I'm purposely gonna put wrong ones, just because I want to see what happens. Uh... Wait, I need to fill the whole space. Ah, spoon! We can't use that! Um... Gosh, I need another... Fork. We can't use that! Uh... Are you sure about that? You could probably use a spoon if you wanted to. Uh, 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 okay, we'll just put the right one. Good job! A we knife. can Look use that. a That's sharp a huge knife. knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by That's ourselves. That's a huge knife. Oh, it's chocolate pie sounds so good. It's always good to be so brave good. when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pumpkin pie that and banana cream pie are my favorite safe. pies. Ooh. Okay, Willie. I don't think I've had banana cream pie. Oh, I should put that whisk. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make but our I pie. But I do love pumpkin pie. We and it's pumpkin pie some season. Sugar. Hmm. Do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Uh, the sink. Nope. Try again. Refrigerator. Don't you want to help me? No. So, where's the sugar? Oh, ha ha ha. I made her angry. Wait, let's make a pie. <laughs> I made mm, her angry. Can you smell the apples and cinnamon? No. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. Oh, mm, nice. we're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. They took now, it, yeah, they put did. it in the oven and She's bake it for ink, 40 Angie. minutes. Big Angie. Our pie is ready! I can't wait to eat it! 524, Willie, got let's it, have yep. some pie! Bet. Alright, that tape's done. Bye-bye. We'll just put you over here for now. Alright. We gotta bake a pie. However, um, I'm gonna do some looking around. I don't know. That's, that's the apple. That's a strawberry. That's an orange. There it is. There it is. Can I, I can't get to that. Can I? Yes, I can. This way. This way, this way, this way. I'll take that. Because Wooly said that his favorite Okay. Oh! Oh, nice. Okay. Sweet. Oh, get up on the- get up there. We're gonna watch this tape. Secret tape number one! Oven said, get out! <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna watch this tape. Secret tape number one. Look at the orange tape. Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom holds my treat money. <sighs> well, I'm come on, Lauren. We have a special surprise for you. Secret tape number Here's one. <sighs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. 
Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. Maybe we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> you know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I want to I capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby. We oh, can watch Amanda chip. another time. It's so much fun Lauren? to buy your own Everything okay? Oh. Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love mint chocolate chip. Well then, child is missing. Okay, let's. Okay, so it was four twenty-five, forty minutes, and we need the apple. I think, right? Just the apple. I think just the apple. Right. Yep. Tape. Okay. Hmm. Hold on. Give me one second. Better. Okay, perfect. Now I can see more. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna... I've read and seen a lot of theories on this game, and I'll explain to them after I've played through it. Let's see. Let's see. Which one was this one? Hi, friend. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? Uh... That's great! <laughs> I like that no, there are on. so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? Uh, this one. <laughs> That's not the store, silly. Uh, this one. It says store on it. It says 24-7 on it, actually. I'm kind of in a hurry here. <laughs> I made an Ingie. Good made job! An Ingie. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Uh, birthday card. It's not their birthday. Do you think that's what they need? I wonder if I said again. What do you say when someone oh. helps you? Well, fine. Great! I found the perfect card! Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend <laughs> a special Wooly. treat. Where can no I love buy a Wooly. treat for my friend? Wow, your friends must love your treats from they do. the post office. Yeah, they do. Thanks. I hope all the treats are sale by the time we get there. Can you show me where to go? Good job. Let's go get that treat. Oh my goodness. To the bakery. Mm, everything smells so good. Oh I gosh, want to cake. buy my friend some buy my friend some cookies. I want the Can cake. Can you show me where the cookies are? I want this cake. I don't think my friend will like that. Why? I want it. I can't mail that to my friend. But I want the cake. I want the cookies. Oh, she's big angry. <laughs> Those look so tasty! We just have know, one more stop cake. in the next The, the package delicious. is ready for my friend! They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it! Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. What? Let's I send don't this know. package <laughs> to my friend. Man, Their I name is... Know. Wait, I don't remember. Well, that's kind of a problem can if you're you trying to mail me? something. We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? No, that's not my friend's name. Uh, I was going to do Charles, but that's too long. 
You have to know their name. Great work! Now we can send this okay. to my <laughs> friend. I hope she likes the cookies. Fred! Definitely Fred. Should have put Fred. Hamlin. What was the name of that tape? Oh, in your neighborhood. We'll put that there. Oh! Paneno. Okay. Uh, C. B. F. Oh, what a lovely song. Oh, no accidents. The tape. Okay. Oh, it's you. Hi, Willie. Whatever you do, don't. <laughs> oh no. Oh Willy no. Got hurt. Willie had an accident. <laughs> Willie had an, an accident, accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, I know, right? at the playground. Poor Amanda. Poor, poor, poor Wooly. Amanda, why did you hurt Wooly? At this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't trip. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? Uh, head. That part of Wooly looks fine. Foot. Hurry up, he's hurt. Uh... That's right! Oh. Willie hurt his knee. It made me type you the right answer. When you are hurting. Oh my gosh. Uh, one second. I was gonna type I, and it made me type knee. <laughs> oh, uh, and nobody. You're probably right. Let's take Willie to the hospital to see a doctor. Which room Poor should we Wooly. go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? <laughs> He's an alibi, I know. Heart doctor. I don't think that doctor can help Wooly. Are you sure? Mouth stuff. Wooly's in a lot of pain. I wonder why, Amanda. I wonder why. I wonder why he's in a lot of pain. Heart doctor. Please help me get to the right doctor. Okay, I'm going to I guess. Let's get Wooly fixed up! Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going to- The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? Scale. Definitely. You know, oh. silly. Ew, what is that? I'm scared. What should we use? There's a whole heart on the floor. The doctor isn't here right now. <laughs> Why did we have to be in this right now? I guess That's we have to do the right. x-ray machine. Now we can look at Wooly's bone. Lovely. Uh oh, accent. It's so creepy when it cuts like that. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, secret tape. Secret tape, secret tape, secret tape. Secret blue tape. We're going to watch this. Blue tape. 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 Blue tape.
Dun, dun, dun. I love it. Like, it's so creepy how silent this tape is. <laughs> it's so silent. Yeah, that's on purpose. This one has no dialogue or anything like that. Also, I totally thought her... Only people. Yeah, no sound, only people. It's so weird. It's so creepy. Alright. Okay, so this one... I think is 3... 45? No? I don't have to go all the way around to it, do I? Oh, wait a minute. I had it to 9.45 because I'm... Yeah. Ooh, thunderstorm is eerie. Uh, okay, here's this clock. This one, I think, is 6.20. Oh, that sounds weird. Ew. There should be one more. Oh, there it is. Ten. Was that a ten fifty five? Ten fifty? There we go. 5.15. Okay, but... Is there anything new on here? Oh, there is. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh. Catching up with Sam. Sam Colton wasn't expecting to be a father to a town icon, but last summer it became clear that his public access series Men of the Adventurer and its title character were something very special. For this self-professed struggling writer, it all started with his adopted daughter and a new outlook on life. Recently, I caught up with Sam over a stack of stack of the Sunflower Diner's famous strawberry banana pancakes, we chatted about the value of imagination, everyday adventures, and what the future may have in store for Amanda. Uh, so Sam, now the day goes by when my kids aren't talking about Amanda and her adventures. Did you even dream that a little show would be a big hit? Uh, little show is right, isn't it? But I think there's something elegant in simplicity. We may not have the budget for a big production, but I truly believe there is... Uh... Is it a soul or a goal or something that translate transcends that? I'm humbled by the way the town has embraced my baby. I really am. So much of the show is about following your imagination. What inspired you to produce a show that is focused on getting our kid interesting? TikTok, TikTok. Whoa. Oh, I want to read the... Can I crouch? Oh, I can. Oh, Celtic relic stolen. Reports of a break-in at an Irish Celtic history museum have the country in a stir. Interesting. Interesting. That's really interesting, actually. Okay. I haven't seen that. That's pretty interesting. Where's the big clock? 
There you are. Okay. I love how it makes the sound of like the minute and the hour hand. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Nope, I had it right. Yeah, there we go. I've got the big dumb. Oh, safe, 826. Uh, no, that's a lockbox, I think. Is it this? That is creepy. Where's the safe? Safe, 826. Oh, the arrows in that are really creepy. Oh, there it is. Weird. Oops, I threw the tape. Oh, maybe I can't do that yet. Interesting. Alright, everything rots. That's wonderful. Hi, Ken. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Is it a nice day for a picnic? Uh... Oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, That's Amanda, rude. what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. Hmm. I don't know, Wooly. You're right. It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? Uh, Wooly. No, that looks fine. Are you doing this on purpose? I might be. What is making that bad smell? Those are organs. Uh. <laughs> That's suspicious. Yee, That's you, you're right! This sandwich is stinky Ew. because it's rotting. Gross. This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Uh, fun. Look at the tree stump. If it's not alive, what is it? It's sad. I don't think we should be talking about this. I agree with Wooly. See ya. Are you afraid to think about it? Yes. No. That's right. That's the suspicious. tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job. Wooly, I feel they you, buddy. Die if they don't get enough light or water, or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different oh, ways no, too. I'm dead. There's Look a at fox. poor Mr. Fox. Aww. He is dead and rotting. What do you think killed him? The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush? It was definitely the knife. I don't think that was it. Yeah, they killed me. I'm dead. No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. <laughs> Silly. What killed him? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox, Why is what screen made you die? Red? I'm gonna keep pressing the wrong things. It was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox A lot didn't even of the century. know what got him until it was too late. Rip. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today! A rotting sandwich, a rotting tree stump, and silly old rotting Mr. Fox! Hmm. Sometimes I feel myself rotting. But it feels far away. That's Amanda, something is rotten here. What do well, you he really think? is debating his life choice. You think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you! Answer Ooh, my question. Thank you. you don't have to answer that. See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine. Oh. 
We're in trouble. Oh gosh, that's loud. I haven't actually heard the audio for this. <laughs> I know it's coming, but it's still like out. Oh gosh. Ending number one. Ending number one. <laughs> yeah, so we just died. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Do we have to do the clock thing again? I don't remember. No, we do. Oh, do we have to start over from the beginning? I guess we do. Interesting. Oh, wait, here's the safe. It's fine. Eight. Two. Six. Right? Or was it eight, six, two? I didn't write it down. I messed up, I think. Was it 862? I thought it was 826. Oh, no, wait. No, I was right. I think it's 862. Or 826. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, boy. What is that? Oh, it's a pause button! Oh, no, no, give me that back. OB! Thanks for the lurk! Sweet. Okay, now we can pause tapes. Very good. Very good. What is this? Red, orange, blue, beige, potato. I love how it's colors and it's just potato. Red, orange, blue, beige, potato, lilac, yellow, purple, pale, pink. I do know that we need... This this one. Girl, my precious. You are so creepy. Here. Thank have you. A flower. That's my favorite flower. I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. Ah, thanks. Let's watch this tape, and then we'll go through. Is it death? I know. It's Why is that me? Three just weeks since local television producer oh, Sam loud. Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have mm. no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer the public access children's educational program Excuse that me. became a huge hit among area children. Suspicious. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action mm. program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. I know, right? We reached how out to Hamlin Entertainment wrong. for an interview. How dare. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of mm. Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday <laughs> evening. Yeah. Rest assured that Amanda Excuse is me. not going anywhere. <laughs> Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. 
Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. Mm. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. Talking gerbil? I want Zappo, excuse me. It's me, your friend, Skip, and with me as always is my trusty dog, Chip. Oh my gosh. Skip and Chip, what? I wanna watch their show, are you kidding me? Okay, I have to start from the beginning again, I think. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Oh. Froggy. Mm, that sounds delicious. Oh. Nice. Good job! We can use it. What is that? What? What? Hold on. Oh my gosh, I set the oven on fire. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> well, what can you do, I guess? Oh, we're making a meat pie. Ingredients, potato, mushroom, meat. Preheat the oven to 525 and pie tin. Mix meat, potatoes, and mushroom. Bake for 15 minutes, enjoy. I set the thing on fire, oopsies, oopsies. I set the thing on fire, oopsie doopsies, oops. It's fine. It's fine. I feel like I have to sneeze. Help. Okay, here's the cheese. Oh, no, wait. Give me the cheese back. Can you give that back? Thank you. I need this. Potato, mushroom, meat. I need the cheese. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There. Oh. Well, he did. He did. Here's our meat. Yeah. Mouse meat. Mouse meat, mouse meat, mousey, mousey, mouse meat. Okay, let's see. Uh, which one was the potato? Potato. Moon. We need the moon flower pot. Not you. Nope. 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 Oh, wait. One of these on here was, I think... There it is. Yeah. Just a little bit, Danny. Listen, okay? Listen, this game is awesome. That's all I have to say. I really like this game. <laughs> I can't help it. Look at you with your non-missing hair flower thing. You are so creepy. Okay. Thanks, Joker. Appreciate you. You suck. scared me. What a jerk. What a, what a, what a, what a butthole. Somebody go play a sound alert for me over there, please, and thank you. 50 minutes, 525. Tell me sucks. <laughs> thank you. Waste not, want none. Oh my gosh. In your neighborhood. All right. I have to sneeze, y'all. I feel it. Okay, well, you suck then, Joker, if you can hear me. You suck. Hi there! I'm Amanda! <laughs> and I'm, I'm Amanda. Lily. Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? Oh, rip all the That's friends. That's great! I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Is that why I don't Today, I want to send something I want to sneeze and suck there. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. 
Do you know where the store is? Uh, this one. I don't need to go there right now. This one. Do you think this is funny? I do. I do indeed. Good job. Let's go to the store. Okay. Part. Let's pick out a Have card. Fun. My pet. Oh, hold on. Bad happened. Dun, dun, dun. What kind of? Hold on, hold on. I gotta figure that out. I think that's. I think it's F. A. C. A. D. E. Facade. Hold on. I think I need to play this on here. F. A. C. A. D. E. Yes! Secret tape! Secret tape, secret tape, secret tape, 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 secret tape, secret tape. We'll put this here for now. We'll play it after we finish this one. Card should I send them? Um, this one. That's not the right card. A sad one. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Shh. Here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. Oh, happy birthday, Wooly. Go ahead and pick a card, friend. Oh. Are okay, you Wooly. sure that's right? I don't... It looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... My friend... My friend is having a birthday! I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Uh, oh, I know. Let's get them some nice candy. <laughs> there it is. Do you know where the candy <laughs> store is? Here. They don't have anything we need. I think they do. Look at the stores. Which one sells candy? <sighs> Does this help? <laughs> They're all gone. She's so fed Wait, up with me. Wait, <laughs> why did you do that? Oh. Oh, I can't find the candy store. Not my fault. I don't like, know where to go. We need to go Can to the meat store. Me? Meat store. Don't do that. Meat store. I don't want to go there. Meat store. I said I don't want to go in there. Meat store. No. Why is this happening? Meat store. Meat no! store. Meat Why store. Can't meat store. I stop Meat store, meat store. This isn't meat the candy store. store. There is nothing here that I. I really want. am. <laughs> they Maybe. I really am going to become the next outline. Else? I want to get my friend a special treat. Meat, meat, meat. Let me out of here! Oh, Amanda. Oh. That's that's a nice birthday card. <laughs> Do you want to give it to your friend now? Rip the neighborhood. Will you address the card? Oops. Who should I send this to? Uh, me. 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 I don't think it's their birthday. Rude. Fine. We'll give it to Wooly, I guess. Oh, Wooly. I it's guess Wooly can birthday. have it, but I don't want it. It's my birthday. It's not my actual birthday, but it's fine. Hmm. Interesting. Let's watch this. I think there's a way to trigger an ending like that. I actually don't remember how to get the other two endings aside from the last one. Well, no, that's not true. Coffee Break with Sadie Kemp. Coppin? Coppin? Welcome to Coffee Breaks. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda oh, the nice Adventurer. Sam. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Hmm. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, I mean, she's last not year, you started producing Amanda the Adventurer. You know, right Danny, that's a really studio. good question, actually. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, 
No. That is <laughs> it a was really a total surprise. Good question. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. Depending on what time I finish this, Kids this don't really first run of this, though. we can do it again, and we can just heart. put in all the right answers and, boy, and find does out what happens. your show have a big heart? You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, I'm curious. for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, mm. that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and mm. joy. She's the light of my life, and it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It's so it interesting like to me that it started off as a live action and then they made it into a cartoon. This wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. Probably to get around. Child oh, yeah, that's true, actually. On our child next coffee laws. break, the other way around. For yeah, all I know. Occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood. Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Are Those cups are definitely empty. empty. And those are definitely tea cups, <laughs> not water, or er, not coffee cups. I'm not here to judge. Blink. Okay. All right. I feel like... Actually, wait, hold on. Let me do this one more time. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! That's not the right card! I don't think we want this. I think Amanda hmm. is confused. <laughs> hmm. Shh. Maybe she can't afford enough secret. coffee for two it's my birthday. to do teacups. Oh, Maybe that's fair. Help Honestly, though, that's fair. My nose is running. I did press the birthday card. Are time. you sure that's right? I. They don't have anything we need. Look at the stores. Which one sells candy? Great! Look, why did you do that? Now I can't find the know. candy store. I don't know where to go. Can you help me? Don't do that! I don't want to go there. I said I don't want to go in there! No! Why is this happening? No! Why can't I stop it? This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. Are you sure? Maybe you can take us someplace else? No. I want to get my friend a special treat. I don't know. Meat's a special treat. I want to get my friend a special treat. Oh, the his what? His knife's gone. Wait, his knife's gone. Let me out of here! Oh, Amanda, that's that's a nice birthday card. I know. Wants see, to give it to that's all we right can now. do. Will you address the card? 
Who should I send this to? Wooly. Oh, Wooly, it's your birthday! That's so... I didn't realize his knife was gone. Weird. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay, so we went here and then Guts. We need to remember that. And we also need to cut off the doll's head. That's nice. Wait, what is that? What is this? Oh, that's the... Whoa, okay. So that is the flower pot that we used to give the doll the thing. It's just upside down. Interesting. I like the little clue on that, actually. Because if you look at it from this way, it's like that weird four thing, which we did. We got the secret tape with that. So we have one more secret tape to find. Um, but guts, I think, is here. Where is the G? G. U. T. Yes. Guts. There's the scissors. And there's the tape. Okay. Oh, what's a family? Interesting. Okay, let's put this here. Oh, the doll's gone. The doll's like, you're gonna chop up my head? Not today, you're not. Put the scissors somewhere nearby for when we need them. We'll put them there for now. Is there anything new on here? No, it's just back to what it was. Okay, let's watch this tape. What's a family? Hmm. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. Hi. And I'm Wooly. Ba. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? Ma. That's great. <laughs> You're you welcome. sound just like Wooly. <laughs> 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 wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Thunderstorm warning. I hope it has, like, the Hamlin thing on it. But I didn't hit it. It's creepy. Okay, whatever. It's fine. At a petting zoo! There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. I love how it's the pig's eyes are just not. Animals. They are very different <laughs> from people. Oh. They Menace, look thanks different for the and they don't how are you talk doing? like people. Amanda, Why does Willie seem shocked to be a sheep? I don't know. Don't Maybe he didn't know this whole time he was a sheep. Look at these signs. Dang, she shut him down. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. She shut him down. Are you ready? No. A goat says, meh. Meh. A chicken says. <laughs> she is so mean. A pig says. Blink. Oh. Fun. Animals make funny sounds. I'm good, sleepy. How's the game? The game is Do amazing. You have a family. I love this animals game. Animals have families too. Let's I love go this see game. one of the animal families. Glad you're doing well, though. I, I hope you're able to get some rest. Can you but show it's good me to see where the chickens are. Uh, chicken. That's not where they are. Chicken. Don't you know what a chicken looks like? 
chicken. I want to go look at the chicken. <laughs> oh, she's mad. Hey, let's go she's see so the mad. silly chicken. I will. It's when it's just first day at New job. I hate training. Oh, how was that? How'd that go? Having a family is nice. That's exciting, I in a way. mommy chicken and baby chicken. And I see... I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chicken! Look at Do that. Do you know what the daddy is called? Wait, what did you say? I love how the, how the achievement for that is called daddy issues. <laughs> we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Oh, we're gonna have to watch this tape again because there's another part I want to show you. I don't, could, I don't know. Why is it breathing? May, why is the bait? That why is the barn breathing? It was good info overload. Yeah, I bet. Oh my gosh, yeah. Starting new jobs, it's always like info, info, info. Uh, here. Ew! I don't want to see those. They're scary. Why not? Why not? I don't want to go near. Flood warning. Oh look, purple tape. I don't like any of this. I hate I neither Danny. I hate how it's breathing so heavy, I know. It's so sus. Um Oh, I'm gonna have to play this tape again, I think. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, it seems so anxious. The sheep are waiting for us. Where are they? The snake and the the spider just jumped off the lamp post or the sign whatever post. Okay, let's go. Look at the nice sheep oh, no. family. <laughs> Lily! Right where they belong. Lily! <laughs> oh, there we go. Blizzard warning. Blizzard warning. Let me try this. It's still stuck on Tornado. Okay, we'll just keep watching then. Oh no. A kitty. Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she feels? Uh... Happy. She must be so scared. Sad. There's nobody to love her. Oh. Kitten is a little so <laughs> Yep, happy. <laughs> happy kitty. Will you help the lonely I kitten? Know. Uh, part of me wants to do no, but I feel like we're gonna get attacked by the demon again. Why is Amanda just staring into my soul? Help! <laughs> Help! That's so creepy! Okay, well I'm gonna have to watch that again anyway, because I need the tornado warning, I think, but really quickly we'll watch this one first. Secret tape! Secret tape, secret tape, secret tape! Secret tape! Hmm. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Oh, I do still need the unheaded doll. Bye, You're correct. Bye, man. Bye, man. Bye, man. Bye, man. Bye. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Mm -hmm. uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology so for dynamic voice reaction. That's so, so sus. I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of the. No, I don't want yep. to do that. Yep, simple words. Rebecca, mm -hmm. what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. This no man. She's upset. 
This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... Nope, not at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, man in the headphones. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. Alright, let's watch this one again. So sus. Actually, wait, let's... Is the doll back? The doll's not back, though. We need a tornado winning. Visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Okay, let's go! Look at the nice sheep mm. family. All the sheep are The doll right is where hiding. It knows. <laughs> she knows what's gonna happen. That's a blizzard warning. I don't need... I don't think I need the blizzard warning. I need a tornado warning. Peas, peas and tanks. I might have accidentally skipped it. Kitten is a little. Maybe I should have said no. I have to watch it again. It doesn't matter. I love how the sheep are so different compared to Wooly. <laughs> Alright. One more time. Hopefully we'll get the right one that we need. Hi friends! I'm Amanda! And I'm Wooly! Ba! Wooly just made an animal sound! He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? No. I refuse That's to do it again. That's great! You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Okay, we got the thunderstorm running. At a petting zoo! There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different, and they don't talk like people. Amanda, I'm an animal, and I- Animals <laughs> don't talk, silly. <laughs> the hand! She's like, nope. Look at these signs! Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs! No, I don't think Are so. Are you ready? No. A goat says, meh, meh. A chicken says, <laughs> A pig says, blink. <laughs> That's fun! So creepy. Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? I do. Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal families. I want to see the chicken. Can you show me where the chickens are? Great! Let's go see the silly chicken. What a cute family. Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens, and I see, I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? The daddy hmm. is called a rooster. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yoink. Yum, yum. <gasps> Shikes. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Okay, huh. let's go. Look at the nice sheep family. 
all the sheep are right where they belong. <laughs> Poor Wooly. Okay, wait, hold on. That's blizzard warning. I, I don't think that's gonna work though. Yeah, it's stuck on tornado warning. Hmm. I don't know, wait. Interesting. Hmm. Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she feels? Kitten is alone. There is no one to help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? Will you please help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Oh gosh. Won't you help the lonely kitten? I think the oh gosh, the sheep in the background. Uh oh. Well, we're dead again. We're dead again. It's so scary when I look at it, the tiny monitor. I hate it too. I don't, I think so. I think I have to find, I hate this so much. It's so creepy. Uh, yeah, I need the, I think it's, I think I need, I, hmm. 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 Okay, let's see here. Oh, I wonder if I can, uh, do the doll part. Because I know what this is. Okay. So we have the tape. What's the family? We have the tape. So we're gonna put that down there really quick. And then while we're here, we're gonna take these. I feel like this is gonna be really loud. <coughs> oh, I hated that. I hated that. <laughs> I'm glad that you took your headphone out because it was really loud. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Bye. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? That's great! You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Okay, there's the thunderstorm warning. Maybe we should watch the tapes from the beginning again. I don't know. Why does it do it twice, I wonder? Hmm. At a petty 
petting zoo. Hmm. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different and they don't talk Wait, like people. Danny, just tell Amanda, me if it's in this tape. I'm an animal. Because I, I don't remember. Silly. Don't tell me exactly where to look find it, but let me know signs. if it's in this tape or not. Because I don't remember it exactly. Like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? A goat says, meh, meh. It is? A okay. A chicken says, Hmm. A pig says, like, <laughs> fun! Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal families. I want to see the chickens. Can you show me where the chickens are? That's not where they are. Don't you know what a chicken looks like? I want to go look at the chickens. She's so mad. <laughs> right! Let's go see the mm. silly chickens. What a cute fib. Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens. And I see... I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens! Do you know what the daddy is called? Chicken. No, that's not what they're called. Try... There we go. No worries, Danny. Aha! We got it this time. We did it! We did it, we did it, we did it. Okay. Alright, now we just have to figure out the last one. Which I gotta remember how I got the flood warning, because I think it's that one. Again! Uh, chicken. Do I have to help you with everything? Yes. Chicken. The daddy is called a rooster. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yum yum. Just the sound. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. Can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Spiders, Ew, for sure. I don't want to see those. They're scary. Are you sure? I don't want to go near. There we go. Flood warning. Flood warning. Ew. Ew. The spider was gross. Everything rots. Lovely. Lovely. You're gonna go on the floor. I have to finish this one. Well, we can finish it now. Oh. The oh, sheep gosh. Are waiting for hi, us. B. Where are they? Oh, man, that spider hit me. feel all creepy crawly inside. Ew, gross. Okay. Let's <laughs> go. B, how Look are you doing? Look at the nice sheep family. Kitten is a little... I hate how she stares into your soul. Oh, what? Oh no, it's, okay, never mind. I thought there was a light on outside, but then I realized it was my light. <laughs> I was very confused. All right. This tape, everything rocks. Lovely. Hi, Ken. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Oh. What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? No, that looks fine. Are you doing this on purpose? I am. Yee, you! You're right! Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Uh, okay. Look at the tree stump! If it's not alive, I was your energy left, but I'm vibing. What a mood be! 
What a mood. I don't think we should be talking about this. Are you afraid to think about it? I'm just gonna keep putting Fred. Oh, just kidding. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! When an animal dies, it rots too. It looks oh, like this kitty. pin is in big trouble. It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? Uh, yeah. It is being. It's a. It's a. It's a horror game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Make it stop. Okay. Make it stop. It's really sad. Sad kitty. Oh. Um. Oh my gosh, we have the meat ending. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it. Hate it. Well, we got ending number two. I hate it. I hated that. Hated it, hated it, hated it, hated it. Do I have to cut the doll's head off again? Oh, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, good. Thank freaking goodness. Okay, um, do I have to do the tapes from the beginning again? I think I do. Eh, heck it. Why not? Let's do it. I don't know. It's horrible. Hi, I'm Amanda. <laughs> and I'm Wooly. Today, we're going to make... Pie. Mmm, that sounds... Knife. Good job! Wait! Let's make a pie! Was it three, three, four, four, twenty five? Oh, just kidding. Get on the table. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh. I said no. <laughs> Not happening. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighbor? Good job! Okay, I wonder if I what would happen if I put in that number now. One five zero three two five. One five zero three two five. Seven five twenty one six two eight. Oh, interesting. Send my condolences to Kate. Oh. want to play anymore right now. Oh. Uh, there's a birthday cake. Why is there a birthday cake? Congratulations, you're one year older. Wishing you the best this year yet. 081821. 08 Okay. Is it here? No. Oh, the noises are creeping me out. Um. What is it? Maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's zero, zero. Eight. 
two? Nope. Huh. Oh, blob it. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Zero. Okay. Wait, 325. Okay. If we paint to if you know it would help if I paid attention to what the card says. <laughs> oh, math. Gross. May you be filled with many blessings. Love blab it. Okay. Great. Well, there's two candles on the thing, so two, two times four is eight, five minus two is three, two times two is four plus one, that's five, two divided by two, so one, right? Gosh, I feel like an idiot. Two plus two plus two equals six. And then two minus one is one. Here I was thinking candle is one. I think I think it's supposed to be like number of candles. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. That's I could be wrong. Eight, three, five, one, six, one, six, six, <laughs> C, C, D, C, F, E. Okay. C, C, D, C, F, E. I feel like this is about to get really creepy and I'm not really prepared for it. Oh, it is. Ew, I hate it. Ew, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it a lot. I hate it a lot. Oh, I hated that more than words could say. Uh oh, updated. Oh no, accidents. We don't have much time. Do you trust me? What if I button? No. How about but no? Ready for an adventure? I don't think Amanda, it's you can't. Wooly had an accident. When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody can help them. But we can try. No, Amanda. <laughs> I'm fine. I, I, I just, uh... Well, well, Wooly is so confused. We really have to help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What part of Wooly is broken? Uh... Isn't Wooly acting strange? What could be wrong? Don't you care about Wooly? He needs our help. Wooly's head is broken, uh -oh. but Dr. Amanda is here to help. Let's prepare the patient. Here, Wooly, drink this. Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend. This is so sus. Isn't it, Wooly? Amanda. Uh-oh. You, uh... We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. Oh, thanks what for the tools did we use to fix Wooly's head? I hate the this. saw, the hammer, or the forceps. I hate this. Scissors. That might be helpful, but what else or could forceps. we use? Hammer. Things could get really messy if we use that. That looks hard to use, but I could try. <laughs> I tricked you. We're going to use all three. Oh gosh, Amanda's lost her mind. <laughs> the patient is getting rowdy. I'll need a little help here. Help me, please. Stop. Who are you going to help? You're not going to 
help me? I'm not gonna help you commit murder, are you kidding me? But I, I can do this by myself. No way! I'm afraid to turn around. Oh boy. What's this? Oh, that's the birthday card. Has it changed? No. It's just math. How dare this game make me do math? How dare? Riley's favorite movies. Interesting. I'm Hi. Chat. Door. Treat. Trap door. Oh, there's another tape. I'm afraid of this door. <laughs> Summer 1984. 84? 89. 1989. I'm allergic to apples. How many chairs? How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many plates? Interesting. Okay. How many chairs? How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many lights? Okay, so there's one chair. I don't think the couch counts as a chair. One chair. Two chairs. Two chairs. I think I think it's two. So two chairs. Oh yeah, always be afraid of the trap door, I agree. <laughs> it's so, so scary. The little ones count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think it's eight. How many fruit? Where are the fruits? Where are the fruits? Okay, there. One, two, three, four, five, and then the peach back there is six. And then lights. There's one. Two. Is it just two? I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's two. Two. So two, eight, six, two? Oh wait, I'm dumb. Go back this way. Two eight six two. Yeah, got that right. So much math, I know. Oh, look a bucket. I don't know if we need that for anything. We probably do. If I can pick it up, we probably need it. I'm gonna fill it with water. Cool. Let that do its thing. Home movies. What is this? Oh gosh, I don't know what that sound was, but that was really creepy. Four oh one two five eight. Four oh. We don't have much time. Four oh one two five eight. What was that? I guess it's in blob it. I would assume. It's good to see you. I'm glad Copy you came by. But first, you need the key to my heart. Because it is not what you have on the outside that matters. It is what you keep on the inside that really counts. Do I have to kill Bobbit? Oh no. Uh oh. Rip Blobbit. Blabbit, Blabbit, whatever your name is. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Okay. 
Okay, bye. I gotta go sort packages for my grandma's. No, you're totally fine, CPA. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. I don't like standing on that. Like, I know it's not gonna open, but it still freaks me out. We can share. What is this? Alright, we have two more endings. And thankfully, I know where they are. This is so sus, bro. This is so sus. <gasps> Willie's gone. Okay, well, Willie's dying. That's fine. I'm Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with okay. each other. Rip Willie. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Well, thank you. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Excuse me, Amanda. Sharing shows you care Excuse about someone. Me. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I love all the toys. I'll share some of my <laughs> snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Um, kind of none of them. Yum, that's my favorite. That's gross. Friends can share other things, too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? Oh. No. I thought you were different. Yikes. Well, I don't know. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. A hollow end. Meet a disappointing end. Okay, we're gonna have to do that again. Dude, I love the freaking difference. Go. We have all the tapes, we have almost all the endings. Let's go. Alright. Well, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to murder Blabbit again. Which is very unfortunate, but you, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Murder time! Wait a time, wait a time. For a second, I thought I was watching a YouTube video when you saw the, the credits. I love that the sound is so much, like, different than yeah, the actual thing. There's not. Sorry, buddy. Enjoy. So satisfying to me. Not the fact that we had to kill the robot, but just for the sole fact of like where his head lands. It's so satisfying to me. Guys, we're blowing, I know. Same. What a mood. Alright, let's go. Let's get the right ending this time. Ah, uh, we'll pick this one. Yum, that's my favorite. Is it? Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? Yes. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Yes. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? Yes. I'm out there. Somewhere. Oh! That scared me. I knew it was coming, and it scared me. Throw it, throw it, kill the TV, get it. Oh my gosh. I knew that was coming and it still scared the crap out of me. 
I knew it was coming, and it scared the absolute crap out of me. Who's that? Who are you? Dude, her mouth is so scary, man. <laughs> like, literally, every time I would look at her talk, and I'm like, yo. But it's supposed to be, like, 90s animation, I think is what they were going after. But, um... Alright, we just got our last ending. Just so you know. That was the last ending, so we finished the game. Um... I want to know, though, chat, like, after seeing all of it, like, what theories, or, like, what do you think happened? Yeah, because I want to know, I want to know, like, what you guys think, like, seeing it for the first time, because, um, when I saw this game for the first time, the tape that we saw, um, Rebecca signing off stuff, I initially thought that was her kind of signing a contract, to be like the voice actor like for them to like take amanda like her character um that's what i thought initially and so um it was like really interesting but i mean i guess i don't know would you guys rather theorize on your own first or do you want me to tell you the theories that i've heard first because i've heard a few different things I'm just curious. Tell us? Okay. So, essentially, the theories that I've seen is that Hamlin is, like, um, is, like, uh, they call themselves the demons. They're into demonology. And so, they were using the show Amanda the Adventurer to lure children in. So, I've seen a theory that when I've seen two theories on when Amanda is, or when Rebecca is signing the contract. The first one is that she signed herself to be sacrificed so that her, like, soul would basically become, like, the demon and tie her to the show. And that Amanda is actually, like, a demon in the show that lures children as, like, sacrifices, per se. And so, um, like, when you get, when, when you're supposed to go to the candy store, and you click on the meat store, and you have to keep clicking it, and she's like, no, I don't want to go in there, no, I don't want to go in there, I have, like, seen theories that that is where the exchange happens, of, like, them, like, giving a kid basically over, like, that's, like, the sacrifice area, um, and then I've seen, yeah, which is wild. Um, and then I've seen that Sam was actually murdered by Hamlin. And um, that's why he's quote unquote missing. I've also seen theories that he's Wooly. That he tied, like that they tied him to Wooly. And so he was there to kind of keep Amanda calm so she wouldn't kind of like lose her cool. I've also seen that Sam is trapped in the game as the barn in the What's a Family tape. Because when you type in Sam, the barn looks at you. Um, I've seen theories on that. Um, but there's also, so in the Everything Rots, when Amanda says, like, I can feel myself rotting, but it seems far away. Like, they assume that Rebecca's actually dead. Um... And so that's why Amanda can feel herself rotting, because it's Rebecca's corpse, like, rotting, basically. Um, and then I've also seen, um, what was one? I saw one today that, like, was, let me see if I can find it, actually. They're fascinating. They're, like, truly fascinating. Um, where is it? It was a Reddit. There we go. It was somebody's comment, I think. Oh, no, that was a, the butcher shop signifies the place where the exchange of souls happens. Really interesting. Um, and then what was the other one that I saw? Oh, the other thing that I... The other thing that I saw about when Amanda's signing the contract is that um, Hamlin 
was supposedly like adopting her um when they basically killed off sam so it was like adoption papers per se but then they still ended up using her anyway um but what's really interesting when i was reading is that i so the pied piper story i guess took place in like the town or whatever called hamlin and so they're kind of like pied piper is like luring children in with the man of the adventure it's really weird but those are kind of like the theories that i've seen um yeah it's really it's really interesting to me but i can totally see because i guess like the when we saw the article about that irish relic like that was taken they assume it was taken by hamlin um but when they were calling themselves like the demons or whatever and it was supposedly let me see let me look up that other one that i was that i read too because it was about that as well and let me see what they said because it was really interesting Yeah, so, okay, so this one says, We discovered a newspaper clipping that at the same time a man of the adventure was taking off, a Celtic crown was stolen from the Irish Celtic Museum. Uh, the so-called crown of stag is tied to a legend about the fae. Irish police believe the crown was stolen by a group simply called the Demons. We later see a secret tape involving a production of a new Amanda the Adventure show, a Hamlet director, where it competes a few strange phrases, the by yell pie man, those things. Um, SAM questions, da 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 she's talking to the man in the headphones um i don't remember if it says anything else about that item anyway it's really interesting no danny i haven't done the obedient run yet um i haven't done that yet i'm assuming that it's just gonna the game's gonna just fly by i just wanted to make sure i got all the endings first um i'm gonna do that right now because i have time because that that did not take at that long at all <laughs> to get through everything but yeah no it's really it's really interesting it's very interesting um so we can either continue or, no let's continue yeah we'll just do it we'll just go through and do everything correctly and see what happens i'm assuming we'll probably end up getting stuck i assume but let's see Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hello. Today we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. Yeah, it's not a long game. It's a really What's it's a really fast kind game. Of pie? Uh let's do pecan. Mmm, that sounds delicious. It is. Today we're going to make an apple pie. First, we Poor need to Wooly. cut the apple. can't even eat them. He's allergic mm, to apples. Do you know what we can use to cut the apples? A knife. Good job! We can use a sharp knife. <laughs> yeah. so, so I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate. <laughs> don't play with that knives, kids. Seem safe. Okay, Willie, let's cut the apple. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our. And look how the apples are we so just like full. Need some <laughs> like, sugar complete mm, do you know where we keep the sugar i do is it in the pantry the refrigerator or the sink wait let's make a pie mm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon okay it's time to bake a pie first preheat the oven to 425 i don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves oh we should always ask a oh, parent oh wait to help. let me pause this hold on so the theory that I've seen about this part, about Wooly um, saying that they shouldn't use the oven by themselves, is that I've seen a theory, and like, it kind of plays into when you set the kitchen on fire, but um, they were saying that like Rebecca was a little bit more vulnerable to like being taken over because of her, like when Sam talks about her like tragic past, they were thinking that she accidentally set her kitchen on fire and it killed her parents. That's like the theory around that. Um, 
which I think is really fascinating, which, you know, kind of ties into when you, like, set the kitchen on fire. I just thought that was really interesting. I wanted to share that. I'm I remembered. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 yeah. degrees. Yeah, it's so dark. <laughs> then, put the apples so into dark. the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Our pie is ready! I can't wait to eat it! Willy, let's have some pie! Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. I'm such an old lady. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's so stupid. I shouldn't be this tired. Also, this, there are six tapes, but the sixth tape is literally just Wooly sitting at a desk. I can look it up on YouTube. It's not, all, it's not, it's not very exciting. But you have to go in and, like, physically change the, um, like, something in the game file. Um, and I'm not gonna do that. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> tape. Amanda and I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? So when I watched Jacksepticeye play this, he That's said low great. crime rates. I like that there are so and many. And I about <laughs> lost it when she said, "That's Today, great." The first time that I saw it. Something special to my friend. So first, funny. I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? I do. It's right here. Good job. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Great! I found the perfect card. Time for the next errand. There was apparently a theory that Sam is blabbit, as it says. Friends do nice things. It's important oh. to thank them. No, that's an interesting theory. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for That's my friend? That's a really interesting theory. Good job! Let's go get that treat! I don't know, all the... All of a sudden, I was, like, really Ooh. into, like... Everything theory smells videos so and things good. like that. So, like, I was watching I Poppy Playtime. Buy my friend some... Um... Buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? And the theories on that one are interesting. I really so want Chapter 3 to come out. Not so I can play it, because I'm not going to play those games. I can't. But so I can watch other people play it. <laughs> this is about as scary as I can handle. So, we need to mail it. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. Another thing that I've seen on this, on this part specifically, is like... Like, I've seen that at this point in the series, is that Wooly is actually the demon, and, it, like, Amanda hasn't, like, hasn't quite gotten, been taken control of yet, and so, I've seen that she was trying to send something to Kate, kind of like a help me type of thing, and that's why Wooly was trying to stop her, and then later on down the line is when Amanda gets taken over, and then that's why she offs woolly it's really interesting yeah poppy Let's is an adventure and i am not into Their it name is... <laughs> Wait, i can't handle that I kind of scary remember. can you help me we can come back tomorrow you don't have to send that now no i have to send this to my friend help me who does the package need to go to uh kate Great work! Game theory now has a thing about Wooly being the demon and being friend. of everything. Yeah, I, I think that was the one that the I read. And that might have been the one that I read. Which I find really interesting, and I can totally see it. I can see it better than Sam being Wooly. I don't know, that just not I mean, I can see where they're coming from with it, but I don't quite... I can see Sam being the barn, though. That I can see. I can totally see Sam being the barn. Definitely. Oh, what is it again? I can 
absolutely see Sam being the barn. That makes a lot of sense. Look at us. Oh, with our endings. Oh, it's you. I wonder if I got all do? the achievements. Don't <laughs> Mine is probably there probably is an achievement oh, no. for doing the game Lily file had thing. an accident. <laughs> an accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. Poor Wooly. I didn't trip. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? His knee. That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? A doctor. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? I'm never gonna Come look on. at these types of shows. Let's get uh, Wooly the same anymore. <laughs> Just want y'all to know that. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going? The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the X-ray machine, or the scale? That's right! Now we can look at Wooly's bone. I wonder what happened. Well, I mean, obviously some of these tapes, you like, it forces you to put the right answer, but I'm wondering if like, in some of them, if it doesn't. No, I think most of them did kind of force you to do the right answer. Oh gosh, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so it was 3.45. Oops. I love the way that, that clock sounds, I'm not gonna lie. Where is the other one? There it is. I really want to know if we can read the back of this. Can I pick it up? Actually, wait, I think I can. Let me put this on the thing and then I'll, um, I'll pick it up. Because I really want to know if we can read it. Got the apple sand, but I want the back side. Dang it, I wanted to read the other side. Yeah, that's the side I want. But I can't read it, that's the problem. Actually. Hmm. Dang. There's no way for me to crouch and screenshot it. <laughs> no, only Sam. Um, hold on. I wanna... I wanna look at something. I wanna see if I can... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanna see if I can... Zoom in on that picture. I took a screenshot of it. I wanna see if I can zoom in. And we can read it, because I really want to read that article. I'm, like, really curious. Let me crop it. Real quick. And then we'll see. I 
it might be really um let's see it might be really blurry but we're still gonna try I even thought I might be able to change the thing that I need to change so that I really wanna know uh this is what it is all the way down to the bottom hmm can I zoom in on it Probably not, huh? Might have to... Okay, well that's not working. Uh, maybe here? Let me try it this way. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. And if we can read it. Oh, it's so blurry. I'm so sad. No, I can't. Dang it! <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay. Just kidding. I'm still really sad, though. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I really want to read this. Hold on, I'm going to do this really awkwardly and look really closely on my computer. The piece was said to have belonged to O'Connor's O'Connor's legend. Oh. I, uh, the legend states that the crown was a symbol of peace between the O'Connors and the Fey people during, uh, that says intense and bloody war between the two. The crown was passed something pass something multiple generations of rulers all of which were highly revered for their bravery strength and something the crown was the crown was something I think was in pos possession of something three O'Connell, which mm, I don't know. I can't read that latter part. Little is known about the current whereabouts of the crown, as well as the individuals responsible for the crime. However, Irish police have occupied a few a few suspected no suspected yo this is hard to read it may have been something by Karen oh no I don't know and she uh, multiple she was involved in multiple different crimes across the country and her gang the demon Interesting. That's as much as I can read. <laughs> it's so tiny. Tiny print. Okay. Uh, this clock. This clock is what we needed. We were doing uh, an OBD and run. That's right. Uh, yeah. We're 
good. Okay, that's just creepy. Stop it. Everything rots. Woo! Hi, Ken. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. It is. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? I don't know. Oh, I don't like that at all. What a Amanda, hair. <laughs> what's that smell? <laughs> I've Dude, never smelled anything so like that. <laughs> I don't know, Wooly. What could it be? You're right. It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? This sandwich. You, you're right. That's gross. This sandwich is Ew. stinky because it's rotting. This I hate it like kind of pulls Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? That's right. The tree I don't know why it's dead. pulsing, but it's dead weird. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Men can die if it's they so don't weird. get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Yes, let's. Animals can die in different ways, too. Well, he's Look like so shook. Mr. Fox. He is dead and body. What do you think killed him? The gun? The knife? Or the poisonous berries on this bush? I don't think that was it. No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. What killed him? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Interesting. Mr. Fox, what made you die? It was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. That's so sad. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. It has we gone far. We saw <laughs> so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. That's rude. I just want you to know. Sometimes I feel myself riding. But it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. I'm not you don't have to answer you. that. I have to answer yes. That's what I was afraid of. Uh oh. Do we get the scary? We do. Oh no. I'm taking my headphones out for this. Uh uh. I'm not gonna listen to that. Nope. Mm mm. Mm mm. Nope. Nope. Mm mm. Mm mm. Nope. I'm looking away. Not doing it. I think it reminds me of a Wendigo. Yes. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> I think you get that. I think you get that regardless. Because I think if you say no, you still get the demon ending. Which is interesting. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's any way to avoid that one. Well, that was nice. At least I don't have to hear the creepy happy birthday again. <laughs> I wonder... Actually, let me see something. One more, one more thing. I want to look at one more thing before I decide what to do next. I guess it would actually be... Um, I think... I don't know... Where it would be... 
Mom. Let me look at something really quick. Okay, I'm not going to try to figure that out now, but I am going to... Um, oh, here we go. That's what I needed. Actually, no. I lied. That's not the one I needed. I needed the other one. Let's do... Okay, I just want the... Oh, here we go. Here it is. Some I don't want to add. The lows of bipolar you. depression feel darkest before go. dawn. With okay, here. because we're done playing that. Move you guys over here. Move this over there. And then we're gonna go here. We're gonna do window capture. Actually, let's just add uh, an old one, I guess. We're gonna do this. Oh, uh, it's cold. I just cut it down so it's just that. This is this is the ninth or the sixth secret tape. I don't know if you can hear it. It's just music if you can. Okay, good. I'm glad you can do it. This is literally it. This is this is what this is exactly what the sixth tape is. It's just this. I know, right? It's literally just woolly. Here, I should probably um There, you can see whose video this is. I don't want me to cut that off. <coughs> so sus, man. It is a vibe. He's just sitting there. I've heard speculation that it's just him waiting for Amanda to start the, uh, to start the show. Which, I mean, if you think about it, if that is the case, if that is the case, and that's Wooly waiting for Amanda, then the theory of Wooly being the demon is not that far off, actually. If you if you catch my drift on that, because he could be waiting for Hamlin and their process with Rebecca in taking her soul. Um, so that theory now makes a little bit more sense. If you look at that tape this way. 
which is still so sus. But it's literally nine minutes. He needs to go to the meat room. Exactly, exactly. But look at it. It's literally nine minutes of just this. Of just Wooly. He, like, stretches. He just kind of sits there. He looks like he's going to talk. But that's literally it. That's literally it. Just Wooly. Chilling. So sus, man. That's so sus, dude. It's so sus. I'm telling you now. Uh, well, I guess, actually. Wait, well, I, I was going to start music, but I think I'm just going to end. <laughs> and he doesn't want the package being delivered. Yeah, no, exactly. See, it's so wild. Like, that's so wild to me. But I totally, I totally can see it. I totally can see it. Actually, I will start music. Because uh, we can keep talking theories but yeah it's so like i could i could totally i can totally see that being a thing like that makes a lot of sense but i still think i still think which actually danny thank you so much for the 30 bits i really appreciate it actually i guess wooly being the demon makes more sense than sam being the demon now that i or sam being wooly um if I think further on it, and that actually makes a lot more sense. But we need to do that for ages. I really appreciate it, Danny. Thank you so much. Um, that does make a lot more sense than um. Actually, I don't know if you can hear that. Now that I think about it, can you hear the music? Probably not, huh? Maybe only I can. It's fine. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm gonna end anyway. But yeah, no, it's freaking wild to me. I don't know. It's a really interesting game. It's a really, really interesting game. Oh, uh, what time is it? Yeah, perfect. By nine. Yeah. All right. That's a good. That's a good time. To stream. I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. Um. Yeah. Sam may have adopted her, but him disappearing seems like he changed his mind. No, a hundred percent. He definitely, like, and the company was like, no, yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Like, I'm definitely in agreement that the company had something to do with his disappearance, for sure. And I can totally see him being trapped in the tapes, like, in the show, as the, like, the barn or something like that. Like, I can totally see it. But I want to know, like, because I want to know, like, if the meat. Hi, Katie. Really good. We're talking about theories right now. I was very, it's very, it's such a good game. It is such a good game. Uh, how are you doing, Katie? Um, what was, oh, yeah, I was saying, you know how at the ending when we get trapped in the meat room? Like, I'm wondering if, like, those other, like, meats on the walls are, like, kids. If that's supposed to be, like, the soul exchange, it would make a lot of sense if those were, if those were kids. Which makes me wonder if, like, anything that has eyes on it, like, is that a soul too? I'm doing, I just woke up from a big heckin' nap. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Naps are great. I don't take many of them, but they are great. I'm pulling Joker's stream up because we are gonna hop on over there after this. Um... Yeah, that's what I wonder, which is so dark, but I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> that was like the one scary game that I wanted to play. And you took a big nap today? I did not. I should have. I probably should have taken a nap today, but I didn't. And I have minor regrets, but I also don't. Yes, I did, Katie. I did find all the tapes. Nope. Oh, you had a migraine? That sucks, Danny. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, dude. I could never. I can never be brave enough to play Poppy Playtime. Like, I probably could, but I'd probably hate it, and I'm not going to put myself through that. So. 
Yeah, there's technically six, um, but the way that you have to get the sixth one is interesting. It's You kind of have to like go into the game file and do it, and I'm not going to do it. I almost lost it on Mommy. Yeah, I could never. I could not. Like, not just because of the chases, because I don't like that, but like, I was literally crying in fear at the end of that sequence. I don't blame you. But the mini games, I wouldn't be able to do the mini games. Are you kidding me? The I whack a woogie? No. Absolutely. And the pug a pillar one? No. Mm mm. That's too much stress. That's too much. I would rather watch other people play it. I would rather watch other people play it than me. It's the same thing with like. Choo Choo Charles. I can never play that. Oh, yeah. The memory sequence one? I. No. Mm -mm. Though I did. So I watched H2O, H2O Delirious play it. Uh, Poppy Playtime isn't too scary, but the chase scenes are just kind of difficult, and it's no fun to be stuck that long while something is crawling at you. Yeah, it's it's scary. It's terrifying to me. <laughs> it's terrifying to me. There's just a whole bunch of things about the game that I would not want to play. Dude, Choo Choo Charles is insane. I've seen a playthrough of it. I've also seen a playthrough of Garden of Ban Ban. At least part of it. I need to watch the rest of it, and that's another game I don't think I can. I don't think I can play. Panda, thanks for the cat jam. How are you doing, Panda? How's it going? Can you? Y'all can't hear the music, huh? I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking out loud that you guys probably can't hear the music. Garden of Ban Ban looks like a toddler on acid version of Poppy. No, it is. It kind of is. It just has, like... Garden, uh, Garden of Ban Ban went off the rails so fast. It's so silly. It is. It is very silly. <laughs> but it's also, like, I don't know if I can play it. Uh, pretty well. I won this week, finally. Let's go, Panda. GG's. I have cat feet in my hair. Oh my gosh, what a mood. Cats, man, I swear. Mine's out yonder. Um, no, but the theories of Poppy Playtime, speaking of theories, are really interesting to me. Uh, they're really interesting to me. So, like, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Poppy Playtime. But, essentially, like, an, it's more specifically on, like, Chapter 2. Um, no, same, May, same. Also, also, apparently, there was a different ending to Poppy Playtime chapter 2 where Poppy says that people like died because of her like they, like I, it was really weird I I'll see if I can send you the theory videos I was watching it was really interesting but it gave up it gave up a lot of information that I don't think the devs wanted out yet um so they changed it but I think it was in like I don't remember it was, like, a beta ending or something? I don't know, but there's this footage of it. It's really interesting. But anyway, um, but, like, with chapter two, like, the, I mean, her hair is made of opium. Is it really? Gracie likes to sleep on top of my head at night. That's so cute. Yeah, I figured you meant poppies. I didn't realize it was made of opium. But anyway, so, uh, the dude... The guy who owns, whatchamacallit, uh, Playtime Co. Um, like, I guess they speculate that his, like, tra the tragic family passing. Oh, that's true. That is very true. She does smell like poppies. Um, the tragic passing in his family, like, they speculate was his daughter. And he was, like, trying to, like, quote-unquote, like, resurrect her. And, like somehow managed to trap her essence inside of Poppy, which is really interesting. And I saw somebody going through and, like, reading all of, like, the reports and stuff, like, in Chapter 2, and, um, I, each child in the play area, uh, the game area, like, had a, um, like, a person watching over them. I forgot what they called it. And... They speculate that, like, Mommy, uh, Longlegs, or Mommy, yeah, Mommy Longlegs, was one of those people who, like, died, or something like that. So they're basically, like, trapping P 
people's dead souls inside. It's really interesting, and I really want to know how the game ends. I just don't want to play it. So I really need Chapter 3 to come out, so I can watch somebody else play it. I'm gonna need that. I like watching horror games. I don't like playing them. Unless it's Little Nightmares. I do like watching Little Nightmares. Or playing Little Nightmares. Um, and I'm very excited for 3 to come out. Big excited for that. I want more games like Franbo. Or like Little Little Misfortune. I love those types of games. And I want more. So if you know any, please let me know. Alright, this song needs to go away. First of all, it's loud. But it's also not what I want. Okay. Um, I need to pause someone playing it or be able to look away. What a mood. What a mood. Only way I got through Five Nights at Freddy. Yo, I could not. I can't handle jump scares like that. I've been watching people play Five Nights at Freddy's, but... Children of Silent Town? Wait. Do you like... Oh, I love... I love puzzle games. I don't know about escape room type of stuff. I... Like, I don't... I'm a chicken when it comes to games that are, like, too scary. Or if I do play a scary game, like, I'll watch someone play it so I can kind of, like, figure out, like, if I can handle it or, like, have a relative idea of what I'm doing so I can, like, prepare myself. But I love puzzle games. It's a point-and-click, like, Frambo with a dark adventure. Oh my gosh, I'm writing that down. That is right up my alley. I love games like that. Children of Silent Town. I'm in. I'm in. But Katie, give me what you got. So I can look at it. I'll I'll watch stuff on it and see if I can if I can do it. Um, I drew little nightmares characters the other day randomly. Did you really, Panda? Children of Silent uh Silent Town is a dark adventure game that tells the story of Lucy, a girl growing up in a village. Um Deep in a forest inhabited by monsters, people disappearing and not uh, is nothing uncommon here. But this time, Lucy is old enough to investigate on her own, so she thinks that's awesome. That's the description. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I've been wanting to find, like, another point-and-click like Franbo and Little Misfortune. Dude, Little Misfortune? Bro, the ending messed me up the first time that I played it. It messed me up big time. I think I have a couple suggestions I'll DM to you later. Bet. Katie, do it. I'm in. The first picture on Steam has a kid going going brains. Oh my gosh. I'm in. I'm so in. There's a couple of indie games that I found on uh, Steam I gotta play. I also am a big fan of indie games. Um, I'm a really big fan of indie games, actually. So, like Chicory, 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 A Colorful Tale, so good, it's so good. You guys, I don't think you can hear the music. Um, man, I freaking love this, I love, ugh. this is so good, Men of the Adventure. I'm very happy, I'm very pleased, very pleased. All right, y'all. I should probably head off. I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. Uh, for those that missed it, can see the playthrough of Amanda the Adventurer. Um, but I really appreciate y'all being here, hanging out, chilling, vibing, all the things, all the stuffs. Um, I will catch y'all whenever the next one may be. But we are doing movie night on Wednesday in the Discord. Um, so that'll be at 4 p.m. PST Wednesday. So that'll be fun. And then, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to stream again soon. In November, which I guess I can probably tell you guys like later, but I'll be gone for like a week in November. Um, so streams will probably be really light next month. They're already light now, but they'll be lighter um, next month, I think. But I really appreciate y'all being here. 
All right, let's go. We're going to go over to Joker. Because he's playing Little Nightmares too. No, Meta! <laughs> no! Uh, DKR underscore games. Panda, no! Why is it always you? Why is it always you? Oh my gosh, May! May, what is this? May's so lucky! Let's go! It's fine. Just use them all. It's fine. I posted the drawing in Discord. Bet. I want to look at it. Wait, you lost? Oh, you. I, I thought you won. You have a lot of berries. I didn't even realize you have so many. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here. <gasps> oh, so rude. Just copy these. We're going to boop on over to Joker. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> I thought you won. It's fine. Game of hates you. I'm so sorry, Panda. I'm so sorry. May's losing berries should go to me. I know. One day, Panda. One day. You'll just suddenly have a ton of berries and you'll never know where they came from. <laughs> all right, y'all. I appreciate you all. I love you all so much. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.